Do you ever just think, oh, I live an exciting life? <laughs> Not me, I don't. So I've been using this a lot lately and I wanted to show you, this is the Polish Choice C5 Super Boost Eye Cream. It was sent to me. This is something that's available now at Sephora. It was never available before until I think last month. And I've been using it and I like it. I put it just underneath my eyes and I also put it up on my eyebrows. Not directly on my lid though. And I've also been using the Polish Choice C15 Super Booster. I always shake it, I don't know why. This isn't sponsored by the way, nobody asked me to post this. On top of that, I'm gonna put the niacinamide 20% treatment and pat that in. Always heavy handed for some reason. So I will put whatever's left on my hands. It's good for the face, it's gotta be good for the hands. I've always neglected my hands. Even with sunscreen, I've neglected them. And I can tell. Now I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. So when I'm looking at my skin, I can tell that I wanna even out my skin tone right around the center, in through here and around here, underneath my eyes. And I have hyperpigmentation, so I wanna take care of that. I could put concealer in here and just spot conceal, or I could use a tinted moisturizer. Depending on my day, I could do a full coverage foundation if I want to. What am I gonna do today? All my self tan is gone, so I've gotta go with what I have to match my skin. I think I'll go ahead and use the Dior Backstage Foundation. And this is in the color 1.5. Oh, I forgot sunscreen. I'm gonna use Super Goop Unseen. I like the glow screen as well, but sometimes the glow can be too much. I find the sunscreen works so well under foundation. It doesn't pill ever on me. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer right in here. Boy, do I ever find that that's an issue now that I'm getting older. That never used to be a problem before, but my skin's getting looser and the pores are just going like my sound effect. Okay, now for the foundation. See, is that gonna match me? Yeah, that's gonna match. You can use a brush or a sponge, but you'll see that when I use a brush, I don't buff really or swipe and wipe. I more pat it in like I would a sponge. So it's the same idea. Now this has evened out my skin tone and made me feel pretty fair because now all the redness is gone. So this is where I add my color back in with a bronzer or a contour or a blush. If I had put a blush on or bronzer before I had evened out my skin tone, evened out that redness around the center of my face, it would look like a lot was happening on my face. So I'd have redness here, I would have bronzer, I would have blush, and the person looking at me just wouldn't know where to look. I always get halfway through filming and I realize I've got goop in my eye. How embarrassing. Well, it's reality, guys. I'm gonna use e.l.f. concealer. This is the 16 hour camo concealer. And again, I think it's cause it's in my color. Uh, kinda, right there and right there. I'm not gonna use a lot. And let's just stick to that for now. I don't like going too light because then I kinda look great and you can see all of my lines when I go too light. I'm finding that a little bit heavy so I'm gonna take my finger and see if I can take some off and push it in. Yeah, that's better. So the brush doesn't soak it up but my finger will so that's why I did that. You see a little bit goes a long way with this product and I use too much. Just gonna go down my nose and just a little bit down my nose here. Whatever's left on my brush, I might as well take that on my eyelid to even out the violet on my lid. Because again, if you think about me putting eyeshadow on something that already has color, it's gonna have too much going on and you're not gonna like it. So that cleared it all up and now I can put whatever I want on. I've been loving the face trace. The color of this is so nice. It's not too warm, especially when I'm fair like this. I don't want it to be too warm. And I just put it up there. And this is where I'm adding color back to my face. I'm just gonna get a little bit in my hairline. Okay, and blend that in. I also like the face trace because I don't find that it lifts the foundation up underneath. Sometimes if the product is too moist, it can actually disturb the foundation underneath. And I've worked hard to camouflage these hyperpigmentation marks, so I don't wanna disrupt it. And again, I'm just pushing the brush on the area that I have the contour and meshing it in. So not really moving it around as much as just pushing it in and diffusing those edges. Oh yeah, my nose. Can you imagine going out and forgetting your nose contour? I've done that with my jawline. It's so embarrassing. And people think I know what I'm doing, so they're afraid to say anything. I am gonna try this though. I have an idea. I'm gonna take a really thin brush and go down my nose. 
Maybe that's what I do. I'm so sloppy when it comes to makeup application sometimes. Maybe if I do it like that, it will be better. Did that work? Let me know in the comments what you think. Should I have even done that? I just think nose contour isn't that necessary, but it's fun to play. Okay, I got a new blush. This is from Milani, and this is called Rosy Doro, and this is the Baked Powder Blush. I hope this isn't too dark for my pale skin. Ooh, no, that's gonna be too dark. Oh, that really has a shimmer to it. Um, Change of plans, guys. That's gonna be too much for me. I think I'm gonna use this when I'm self-tanned. I can tell that that's gonna be a lot, so darn. My plan has been foiled. All right, well, I'm gonna use my favorite one. This is Dior. This never fails me. This is their backstage blush. It has been popular all over the internet, but I love Dior before TikTok. It just gives the most beautiful glow. I know it's scary, but don't be scared. Like it's scary, but it's pretty. Let me get some lips on because my lips are so dry. Let me start with a lip pencil first. I actually used an Essence lip liner the other day and it was really nice. This one is called Satin Mauve or Mauve. So it's still on that nude kind of color. But it has color. I got to sharpen this. Hold on. That's better. And I fill it in a little bit. or a lot, and I'm gonna use Merit Baby on top. That's perfect, so it adds color to my face. It's not too nude that it washes me out, and I love this color. I've been waiting to show these to you for a while. For those of you that know me, you know I love Bobbi Brown. I used to work for Bobbi Brown. I am partial to Bobbi Brown products, and these are now available at Sephora. So if you're tempted, get these now when the sale's going on. The one that I've been using the most is the Nude Beach and the Pink Mercury. So you've probably seen this on me in videos already. Let me swatch these for you, actually. They're so used, look. Excuse my bruise, I went for an IV therapy the other day and she couldn't get my vein. I got bruised instead. So that is Nude Beach and that's Pink Mercury. And I love these, it's like one and done. It's so easy to use. And I've been wearing this one all the time. Then I've got Taupe, I wore this one yesterday. And that one is called Golden Pink. And this one is so pretty, this one's called Bark and Pink Steel. Can you see that, how gorgeous they are? Um, I wear this one all the time. Maybe I should try something different today. Yeah, maybe I will. You can pretty much assume that these are gonna be beautiful and perfect for your everyday use. If you haven't used Bobbi Brown's Longwear Cream Shadow Sticks, they are phenomenal. I love them. I'm actually gonna put pink steel all over and I'll use Bark as my liner. So I'm just gonna show you how easy this is. And I'm gonna drag it up to my crease and literally blend out with my finger. You can blend it out with a brush too. Work with it before it sets. It's easy to blend, but once it sets, it's there all day. Like that is so pretty. Now I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna use Bark as my liner. I should clip my hair back. Of course, I always forget to do that. And then I'm going to put Bark right here. And I'm not being very particular about it because I'm gonna blend it anyways. And I'm gonna blend that out and soften it. And this is gonna give that kind of smoky eyeliner effect. And there, that simple. So you notice that I go thicker on the outside corner and then taper it in as I get into the inner corner. And blend. I can work that up a little bit. And it is buildable, so if I wanna add more, I can add more. As I get older, it's just getting harder and harder to see. I might just put a little bit more in the corner there. What if I put a little bit of the pink steel under here, just to give that shadow without it being too dark?
Yeah, that's pretty. All right, let's get some mascara on. I'm finding that my blush is coming down a little bit too low here. So what I'm actually gonna do is put some foundation on my brush and tap it over this area a little bit just to lift this up a little bit. You can see that I have a little bit left on my brush, but I want a little bit more. So I'm just gonna tap that out a little bit here. and around the edges. And that just gives a little bit more of a lift. I didn't tap back into the blush. I'm just gonna make sure it's all blended. There, I feel better about that. Now a nice curl of the lashes. What mascara should I use today? I used Milani the other day and I actually liked it. So I wanna keep trying this and see how fast it dries out and see how it wears as it gets older. So I'm gonna use this today. Let me actually do what I said I was gonna do a long time ago and clip that back. You guys are probably watching going, clip it back. Do what you said you were gonna do. This side's not so bad. Okay, I was actually really happy with this. I wore this out on Friday night, I believe. There was no flaking or anything. Now I didn't really put it to a test. I wasn't out in the rain. I wasn't sweating or dancing or anything like that. But it was nice and easy to get off and it didn't flake. And it looks pretty, it doesn't clump. Of course, now this is the second time I've used this, so this is why I wanna keep using it and testing it out. I love it when my daughters give me suggestions of what they like. My youngest daughter loves this one. So, you know I gotta try it if she loves it. I'm excited to get my Sephora order today because I ordered Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder. I'm just finding the powder is so much easier to fill in my brows. I don't have any holes coming through when I use a powder. Now I may change my mind, I often do. I might use it for a while and get sick of it and go back to brow pencil, but I'm excited to get it. And I may use both. I might use a little bit of a brow pencil to shape and then the brow powder to fill. Oh, a little bit of a flake there. I have a book club meeting tonight and I can see all the notifications coming down. <laughs> <laughs> it was so nice to be invited. My girlfriend from my son's hockey team, which was years ago, asked me if I wanted to be in this book club. And of course, I don't have much of a social life, so I'm like, yeah, I don't even read that much, but yeah, sure. The book is called The Art of Self-Care. We're in a group, obviously, it's a club, to read the chapter, and then we have homework. So it's talking about how maybe we haven't had the self-care that we needed in the past and how are we gonna change that about ourselves and make sure we take time for ourselves. And yeah, it's been good. And I've really gotten to know the ladies and they're super sweet. Okay, now for brows. I don't have a brow powder, so I will use, oh, where did it go? My favorite brow pencil is out in the kitchen. I'm too lazy to go get it. I saw it in with my brushes that need to get cleaned, so let me see what else I've got here. I love Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, but this is in caramel and I'm finding it a bit warm. Let me use the brow pen. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills as well. And this is in the color soft brown, which is what I like. I like the soft brown. It still has some warmth to it, but it's not too warm like the caramel is. I can hear the thing, the shaker thing. Have you guys ordered anything from the Sephora sale? If so, let me know. What are your favorite products? I love learning from everybody else. Also, I've been doing some clothing hauls and I would love some ideas of where to shop. Where would you like to see clothes from? I find being in Canada, it's a little bit harder because we have to worry about customs. I had placed an order from ASOS. Actually, this is a top from ASOS and I liked some of the stuff that I got. Their prices were good but the customs fee was crazy. I think I had to pay an extra $100 just to pick it up from the um, post office. Like what? I don't care, the prices might be good, but if I have to pay a customs fee, that defeats the purpose. All right, the only thing I'm missing is a little bit of highlight, but I don't wanna go too crazy. Do you guys remember when the Mary Luminizer was so big on YouTube? Whatever happened to that? I'm gonna use it. Why not? It's sitting there. That works. I took my hair clip out a little too soon. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of this in the corner as well, why not? Yeah, 
just like that. All right, guys, all done. I think I'm gonna leave my hair like this. It is raining outside and I gotta go shopping at Costco anyways. So I hope this helped. I hope this gave you some inspiration and a little bit more knowledge today. And let me know what you wanna see. Let me know if this is content that you like. If you like this content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.